Hi, could I please have a large black coffee? And that's it. Perfect, thank you. You too. Now, this trip, this day can start. Got my Tim Hortons coffee. All right, we are on our way to a truck stop that has, it's a Flying J, and I was under the impression that uh, Denny's was in every single Flying J, because I talked to a truck driver one time at a Flying J, and he was disappointed in the fact that some of these Flying J's <clears throat> truck stops used to have like a kind of mom and pop type restaurant in there, and you'd get a, an actual like almost a home cooked meal, and then Denny's either took them all over or whatever, but I found one that has, I uh, believe an Indian restaurant in there. So it's in Fort Erie. This is a, a three day adventure. So right now we're gonna hit Fort Erie and then tomorrow is something special. You guys are gonna have to find out, stay tuned to watch. And then day three is something special. We're back to eating at gas stations and truck stops. truck stop not like in the states but pretty big I guess I compare this to a loves maybe it's probably a little bit bigger than a loves maybe well, that drive was crazy uh, the rain was very very intense uh, for at least an hour of my drive and uh, but I'm glad it's let up now that I'm here I won't have to get my rain gear on just to get into a building so let's go check out this building and get some food Nice trucks. Thank you. Ah, typical stuff that truck stops have. Gear, sunglasses, cables, chips, uh, restroom showers, driver's lounge, Canada rocks, lots of drinks, no beer in these things just to give you a heads up not let us sell beer I don't think at truck stops in Canada lots of stuff to eat got our t-shirts danishes donuts sunflower seeds we've got all the coffee machines Iced coffee, cappuccino, lots of coffee. Oh, lemon bread or lemon poppy seed loaf. Hot dogs are not rolling today. Lots of drinks, slushy. Huh. Mm, Pop tarts for breakfast, Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes. Everybody poops. Red Bull. Lots of sandwiches and stuff. Knives, of course. We got some breakfast sandwiches. I guess there's supposed to be pizza there, but it's early. 
It's uh, 1025. Let's go check out the driver's lounge. Laundry. Cool. Lots of truckers can hang out here. They could eat, rest, watch some TV. Hmm. Of course, they got the showers down this way. You probably have to get a number and a key and a code to get in. Wonder what they charge for a shower. Air fresheners, gas tanks. I've been thinking about getting one of those ones because it's, it's narrow and you could fit it behind the driver's seat. Whereas the one I have at home, it's too big for my little van and I don't need that much space. So that would probably be perfect. I'm hoping it's open. Yeah, it's locked. There's a big lock on it. Hello. When's the restaurant next door open? I think you open at four today. And if you don't, come to the Play it Saturday. I forgot. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I'm not Okay, thanks. I guess we're gonna try some of this stuff then. I'm gonna uh, try your uh, hash browns and yeah. bacon, bacon, egg, and cheese muffin. Please. <laughs> Gotta try this. I've never seen a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Gotta give it a shot, right? Got eggs, grapes, fruit salad, yummy, yummy. That's about it. Not a whole lot. Italian sub, club sub, club, club, Italian. Is that okay today? No, I was going to grab a coffee. Got muffins, apple, blueberry crumble. Blueberry crumble muffin, that's not there. Got to show you guys this thing. Yeah, they, they just put a hot dog on, or three hot dogs. Almost like damaged it, jeez. We've got Pilot House, Colombian. Hmm. Brazilian? Well, what's the difference between those and this thing is? Small, medium, large. Then you have your own cups, I guess. Let's go medium, I think that's a medium. Uh, organic Colombian. No room for cream. It's grinding it up. That looks good. Breakfast sandwich. Look at all your sugar and creamers, French vanilla, Irish cream. There. Thank you. That's it. Have a great day. You too. Actually, I forgot something over here. I forgot the butter tart. King Nabbit. I've got my butter tart. All right. Have a great day. You too. I see it. There you go. Welcome. Hey, nice car. All right, we are back in the car. That kind of sucks. Um, when I looked up this location, I just saw the food and, and made sure that they weren't one of those places. I don't need that yet. Made sure one of those places that isn't permanently closed because of things of the past. And uh, so I'm gonna have to look it up. But until then, Let's go to the trusty steering wheel and start eating, shall we? Nice people in there working. I'm just confused by that sign on the door because it looks like it says 6 a.m. till late at night, and uh, but obviously it's Saturday, so uh, I kind of kind of did this kind of at the last minute because I'm really going to be really busy this week, and uh, I needed to do a couple videos for you guys, try to get three done in a row. 
So uh, I thought I'd come here and then we're gonna do something special tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping to do some of that Indian food. It looked amazing. So all this stuff, well this uh, this after taxes, this is uh, the uh, butter tart. And whenever I say the word butter tart, a lot of people <laughs> In the United States and from around the world, they don't know what a butter tart is, so I thought I'd buy that. And after tax and everything, it was $3, which is really expensive. Uh, and then all this other stuff came to uh, $14.65. Let's do the hash brown first, nice and oily. Crispy on the outside. Nice and oily on the inside. Wish it was bigger. My only complaint, tastes good. You know, for the price and all, let's move over to the breakfast sandwich. If you're a trucker and you've been here before, let me know. Let everybody know in the comments below what's your favorite thing to eat here. Possibly breakfast, lunch, dinner, I don't know. Uh, it's the first time I've ever been to this location. And I'm not a trucker, so don't live in the area. Never needed to stop in here to get anything. So, but again, did some did a little bit of research obviously not enough to find out at this truck stop this the restaurant is closed I, again some of these uh, the truck drivers in canada are a little annoyed at the fact that just denny's is usually at these so the fact that i found this one that had that i was like really excited to make a video for you guys and uh probably probably all the truckers know about this place and the food, again, I forgot it was Saturday. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't know what the hell's going on. You're so busy. Oh, look at this bacon is a little overcooked. The egg uh, looks like one of those frozen patty things. It looks like they kind of toasted it and put some butter on it. I don't think I'll be able to separate the bottom, maybe. Yep, I can. So it's got cheese pull there and uh, like an egg patty basically scrambled eggs cheers it's all nice and soft it's been steaming for a while it's not bad if you're in a pinch and you just want a small small sandwich this is pretty good i think i picked the right coffee it just looked like it was coming out nice and rich looking. Had a little bit of froth on the top. Mm, oh, it smells good. Colombian. Who loves Colombian coffee? Ah, oh, it smells so good. Mmm, strong. Woo! I have to, that'll keep the truckers awake while they're driving. It's 680 calories for a peanut butter sandwich. I never, never ever thought about doing a nutritional thing. <laughs> Look how much peanut butter they put on there. All right, so first up, the bread is, feels like it's stale, but that's a lot of peanut butter and jam. Let's give her a bite. Ooh la la. This one got just wrapped somehow. <laughs> I haven't had a peanut butter and jam sandwich and I don't know. When's the last time I had a peanut butter and jam sandwich? Yeah, I know, it feels like a long time ago. <clears throat> but it's, again, if you're in the mood for a peanut butter and PP and J, uh, this isn't bad. Uh, I wish I got a little bit fresher bread. But they put a lot of peanut butter on, a lot of jam, and the strawberry. Again, if you're, yeah, I guess if you're a trucker and you're just need a quick snack and you just feel like having a peanut butter and jam sandwich like you may or may not at home and jump back in your truck grab yourself a big coffee start trucking again I thought I was gonna be doing Indian food today I end up doing uh, convenience store style food that was uh you gotta fly by the seat of your pants sometimes just to repeat myself one last time I needed to leave today and I really wanted to hit this truck stop. Um, but I had to get 
like at least three videos done uh, as soon as possible. And I was talking to my wife and I'm like, we're, we're gonna be busy this week coming. So I need uh, to leave tomorrow morning and, and go and shoot a bunch of videos. So at least I have a bunch of stuff in the can as they say. And uh, she said, okay. And then again, I looked up this place and I thought that place would have been open. I, I thought possibly it would not open till lunchtime because of the, the type of food that they serve. But you know, you, they might serve breakfasty type stuff. But uh, I, I was kind of thinking that if they didn't open till 12, then I would probably wait and get some uh, Indian food. But it sounds like they don't open till four on a Sunday. All right, so butter tart, very big dessert here in Canada. Pretty much every Canadian knows what a butter tart is. And it is a pastry all the way around. And when you bite into it, there's probably a thousand different different recipes. Uh, sometimes the filling is um, almost like like a jelly. So when you bite into it, it just stays in the shape of your teeth. Uh, sometimes they make it so the top is nice and has a nice little sugary crust on the top. And then when you bite it, it starts to run out really nice and slow, like a syrup. So sometimes you don't know until you bite it what kind it's gonna be, but they all pretty much taste the same. Uh, again, some have pecans in them, some have raisins in them, some have both, some have neither of those two things, but usually the center is about, usually about the same. In like flavor. So this is one of the ones that is like a jam or a jelly consistency or a pudding, like a firm pudding. Again, just consistency. I've never personally made a butter tart. Um, I don't even really think I know anybody who's actually, I've, like I've seen them making a butter tart, so I'm not sure 100% what the ingredients are in a butter tart. But um, it's a nice, sweet um, pastry. Uh, sorry, a nice sweet filling and a nice pastry. I probably only eat about two of these a year. They're nice to eat. When I was a kid, my mom would buy like a six pack from the grocery store and I eat them all the time. But as I'm getting older again, I'm not really into the whole sweet stuff all the time. So it's just once in a while, it's a treat, right? I may have not said this in the last video or the last two videos, but again, I've, I've cut out all my sugary drinks, but I'm still gonna do desserts and things, of course. I'm not cutting out sugar. I'm not, I don't think I've ever said I'm cutting out sugar 100% out of my diet. I don't put sugar in my coffee anymore. Once in a while, I put a cream in there just for fun because it tastes good. Uh, it's just a different kind of coffee experience. But again, I'm going to be doing, still doing like desserty type things, still like maybe sweet breakfasty type things, uh, which is like a prelude to what I'm doing as of this afternoon till tomorrow which is a 24 hour stealth camp at Waffle House. Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be fun. So that's my main reason coming down here. But I like to shoot a video on my way to do one of those and then I'll probably shoot a video on my way home. Mm. I prefer these um, style of, of butter tarts because it doesn't just run all out. Some of them are way too liquidy. So to all my Canadian friends, family um what kind of butter tart do you guys like do you like the one that stays firm or do you guys like the one that just leaks all out everywhere and then you have to have a shower because it's all messy this is my favorite i don't mind any style of butter tart like with the things in it so if this did have the pecans and the and the, and the raisins I'd still love it. One interesting story about this road. It's a very long, very straight uh, road uh, going from pretty much Niagara Falls all the way to the, uh, actually Niagara Falls all the way to the border. And uh, one time I was going down to the States to make a video for you guys. And I've, luckily I was, wasn't in a rush, wasn't in a hurry. I was very patient, just in the right lane. And uh, there's two lanes going east and two lanes going west. And there's a, uh, a big grass medium in between the two highways. And uh, 
as I'm driving, I'm kind of looking ahead and I see a car uh, in this lane. So I'm in this lane. There's a car in this lane coming this way. And as they go by at 100 kilometers an hour, I'm going 100 kilometers an hour this way. They're going 100 kilometers an hour that way. And it was uh, two old people. So it was, the, it was an old guy in the passenger seat, old woman in the driver's seat. And they were oblivious to the fact that they were on the wrong side of the highway. Uh, that's the only time that's ever happened to me. It was terrifying. Uh, the thought of it as they went by, that something's going to happen behind me. And it was, I don't know what it was. It was one of those days where nobody was in a hurry and everybody was in the right lane. And behind me was an ambulance and they pulled over and uh, I guess got on the horn to the police. And uh, probably within a second or a minute of that, uh, OPP officer was on the right side of the highway, zipping that way with his lights going and nuts. Uh, and I, I bet chances are somebody way ahead of us had already called and that cop was already trying to get up there and stop these people from killing themselves or other people. Uh, that was a nutty story. Has that ever happened to you? Please leave a comment in the comment section below because it was terrifying. I'm glad I wasn't involved in anything. I, I never heard anything about that situation, whether they ended up crashing or they ended up pulling off the highway and thinking, let's just go to McDonald's. Get a hash brown. Why is everybody on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> but I hope everybody at the end of that day was fine. So let's compare these two things. This breakfast sandwich is definitely better than this. Um, again, you have to be in the right mood. Uh, I don't do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches too often. Uh, when I do something like this, I just remember the last time I had one. The last time I had one of these was at my cousin's house, Andrew, uh, in Calgary before we went on our bike ride. I had like two sandwiches. Uh, and just to get all that sugar and protein into me before our big bike ride and uh, So I had two of those so that was the last time I had and that's the, pretty much the only time I'll ever eat these now uh, As I'm getting older uh, But it's a great fuel before a big bike ride. Let me tell you but and again, I wish this was a little bit more fresh But it's not this is definitely uh, I would choose this over this any day uh, Especially for a breakfast thing unless I'm going on a bike ride then I'd eat this because I wouldn't care Hmm. Lots of gooiness. I'm just checking to see how far away the Waffle House is. I'm almost about three hours away. It's 239 kilometers from here. Plus, I got to get over the border into the United States. Uh, but I was kind of thinking it's like it's just almost 11 o'clock. I wouldn't mind going back in there because they might have like fresh pizza and stuff. And uh, just maybe to extend this video a little bit, show you some more of the food that they have because this obviously they only had breakfast stuff out and they were just putting hot dogs on that hot dog wheelie machine. Hot dog wheelie machine. Yeah, that's what it's called. All right, I'm gonna tidy all this stuff up and uh, we'll wait a couple minutes, then we'll go inside uh, to uh, get that lunch menu maybe. Just before I left home, I noticed that the uh, jackery is down to 77%, so I plugged it in to uh, the outlet down here and because I know I was gonna be driving for a long period of time, obviously. And so we got it up to 92. It's actually charging right now while the car is sitting here. That's not good. Uh, I guess I should remember to, if the car is going to sit here for a bit to unplug this from that thing because it will drain my car battery, I'd imagine. So we're at 92%. I bet by the time we get to uh, Waffle House, uh, it'll be at 100, which is great. That's all I need. It's just after 11. Let's go see what they got for lunch. Hmm, Florida. So because it's a Saturday, not enough, not enough truck drivers come in here to uh, justify putting all this food out. But just to give you a heads up, they have all these foods, pogos, samosas, veggie rolls. That's just for these, people probably come out for noon, but these other ones sell five requests. Oh, these are all requests too? Requested, pizza, chocolate, pizza. Can I do a, a pogo and a samosa please? Oh, great, thank you. Uh, let's do two. Uh, one pogo and the onion rings. Please. Are there little packages of condiments somewhere in here? Okay, I just need one, uh, one uh, mustard, please. And uh, one white vinegar and one salt, please. Oh. No, it's all right. Thank you. I just noticed this is a door into it from 
from out here to in there and it does say Saturday 4 p.m. till 8 so if I ever come back here to do this place again they've got the chicken shawarma and some pretty cool Indian dishes you know, chicken curry mutton yeah gotta come back fantastic thank you very much have a great day ladies Ah, it's raining again. Very nice people working here. Super friendly, like I said before. Didn't know I was gonna have onion rings today. <laughs> Had no idea. Again, I thought I was gonna be eating Indian food today. And so they don't have vinegar. That was a bit of a disappointment, because as you guys know, I love my vinegar on my onion rings. So I have my mustard for the pogo. Got our onion rings, they smell amazing. This is, oh, it smells like Carnival, you know, carnival when they're making onion rings and stuff at the carnival. Oh. It looks like they make them here, like they they're probably from frozen, but it looks like they deep fry them, possibly. So the corn dog was three forty nine, onion ring was four thirty nine, samosa each samosa was uh, two dollars and eighty nine cents, uh, came to a grand total of fifteen dollars and forty three cents Canadian. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going in for the extreme close-up of this lunch here at Pilot. And there is the pogo stick. We got our tasty samosas. They're going to probably be really, really hot. And then over here, look at those onion rings. Ooh, who doesn't like onion rings? Let us know in the comments below. I love them. Did you hear how I said that? I love them. All right, so again, I think you guys taught me, because I'm not a, a big pogo kind of guy, but uh, I thought I'd try it here, and you guys are the ones that taught me to put mustard on my pogo. Again, let us know in the comments below, what do you put on your pogo? Ooh la la. You guys told me mustard? I agree. Mmm. Not as good as the uh, deep fried Mars bar. <laughs> It's very savory, very salty. You can really taste that breading. Wow, I thought that was going to be overpowered by the hot dog itself, but uh, the breading, whatever they did with that breading, it's quite tasty. Do you guys make these at home, anybody? I only ever see them at gas stations. Never seen anybody make them at home. Mm, that coffee's killer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put some salt on my onion rings. Definitely love my salt on my onion rings. I'm hoping it's gonna stick. It looks like it's sticking. Nice ring. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is fine. Mmm. Very crunchy. Very nice rings. I'm glad I got them when I first made them. As opposed to getting these like two or three hours after they made them. So it's nice and hot, nice and crunchy, very yummy. Love it. I should have asked them how big their samosas were, because they they can be small and they can be huge, and these ones are pretty big. I should have only ordered one, but check that. Oh, yeah, that's hot. It is it's piping hot. Huge samosa. It's funny, the girl in it, she goes, I go, what would be a good dip with a samosa? And she goes, I don't know, I don't eat them. And I'm like, well, you should give it a try. You work there, give it a shot. I'm not sure what she, she might be scared of it. I don't know. Woo! Wow. Let's break it in half if we can. So let's dip it into our sauce and lose some of our ingredients, our fillings. Mm-hmm. Very good. Woo! So there's meat and veggies in there. And then uh, a nice pastry, deep fried, and it tastes great. Woo! Just made. Woo! Very, very temperature hot. Very hot. Wow. 
So the samosas are fantastic. Yeah, each samosa is like, oh, just almost, it's almost three dollars for two dollars and eighty nine cents. I'm not sure. This should be a buck fifty personally, but that's just my opinion. As samosas go, that's a pretty good samosa. <laughs> I did damage the cup. I'm like, where is this drip coming from? And it's coming because I messed up. There we go. Now I'm now I'm covered. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I guess Pilot maybe is the store and Flying J is the gas station. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure what the difference is. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's a... It just kind of messed me up there for a second. Just going to move my damaged cup of coffee into my Bucky's cup. Because this isn't damaged. I'm going to change my shorts. But I can't wait to come back and do that Indian uh, food. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see me do a 24-hour stealth camp here. Eating uh, Indian food all day long. <laughs> Does that sound like a fun thing? Let's get 3,500 likes on this video and I will drive all the way back out here and eat at that restaurant for 24 hours stealth camp in this parking lot. Cool? Cool. I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for hanging out with me, watching my videos, hitting that thumbs up, leaving those comments, sharing it. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'd also like to thank my channel members for all your monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped down over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.